Hi guys, and today I'm here with a full face of drugstore makeup. No particular look or theme in mind with the exception of drugstore. These are lots of products that I loved. I kind of just picked through my collection and found some things that I even either haven't used in a while or really like and want to point out to you again. I am a huge fan of drugstore makeup so I will link my drugstore makeup playlist down below and be sure to subscribe if you enjoy these types of videos. And just as a heads up, if you do follow me on Instagram, it's at Samantha Jane YT. I will be doing an Instagram live tonight with CoverGirl and one of their makeup artists and playing around with some CoverGirl makeup. So I would absolutely love to see you there. It will be at 8 p.m. Eastern time and it's always good to see some familiar faces because with an Instagram live the fear is that nobody comes and you're talking to no one so I would love to see you there but let's go ahead and get started. I figured I would actually start with moisturizer today because Shoppers Drug Mart sent this my way. It's from Honest Beauty. I didn't know that they carried Honest Beauty but I'm intrigued because it says it's a hydro gel cream. I love anything gel cream. Generally the word hydro is exciting. Got a lot of breakouts right now. Not a lot, but like more than I want. <laughs> uh, and I was just icing this breakout because I've seen a lot of people talk about using ice. Even just because it is like inflamed, right? So it kind of makes sense. This is nice. When I felt it initially, I thought it was going to feel a little bit thicker than I expected. I wouldn't say like it's the lightest. It may not be as light as some of the gels you're used to, but it does have good texture. Perhaps overdoing it with base products, but this is the Milani Rose Primer Prep and Hydrate Lightweight Base. This is interesting because it's got um, niacinamide, hyaluronic acid, vitamin B5, um, and then it's also got uh, rose oil, glycerin high up on the list, so I figured I would try it. It does have a very strong rose scent, so I am talked about this before but I've come around on rose scents but sometimes people still really get it wrong. Um, this is borderline too rosy in my opinion. <laughs> but as long as it doesn't like stay on my face like I don't mind even if something has like a scent that I don't love like if I like the product it's not so bad. For foundation I want to use this from CoverGirl. I really love it. I reviewed it late last year I think in the 12 days of foundation. It's the CoverGirl Outlast Active. I feel like people don't talk about it and it's a really nice foundation. Um, but yeah, when it comes to scents, I'm going to use my e.l.f. sponge. It's quite good. Very spongy, which I guess is good. Um, but when it comes to scents, I don't mind if something has a scent, but I don't like it to last on my skin. And I think the worst thing I ever tried for that was the Huda Beauty Foundation. That sucker, like, I could smell it on my face when I left the house, which I do not appreciate. <laughs> um, same when it comes to lip colors. I know I talked about this in my recent favorite nude lips video which I'll link up here and down below. Um, I don't mind the scent but like if I can taste it like those old CoverGirl and older L'Oreal lipsticks but I'm past the days of eating lip gloss. I, my friends and I used to literally eat lip gloss like not like oh it's on your lips and you eat it by accident. It was the Bon Bell really skinny tubes and they were like a clear gloss and I remember specifically eating, like putting my mouth on the doe foot applicator for the watermelon one. Listen, I'm not proud of it, <laughs> but it happened. I hadn't heard about um, this from Catrice. It's something new, I believe they sent it to me, the Slimatic Camouflage Stick and it seems like it's going to be a good color for me. This is 040 Latte Macchiato. Oh, I gotta sneeze. Oh, I'm gonna lose it. No! <laughs> I lost it. Um, so this is a really slim little concealer. I feel like, oh, this is a great color match for me. Oh, these pimples are sore. Oh, it's coming back. Sneeze is coming back. It's coming back around. <laughs> oh my God. This is torture. Now it's gone. I'm just going to pat that in. For my under eye concealer, I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear. I really love this concealer. I love the uh, foundation too, the Freshwear. I think that's a great foundation. I reviewed that. And I'm just gonna use my sponge. So how are things with you guys? I've been cooking so much lately and kind of experimenting. I didn't eat takeout for like three or four months cause I was scared. <laughs> I was like, this is the only thing that will keep me from ordering takeout. It's just too easy to order takeout nowadays. But um. Who's scratching what? Hey! Um, but then I started ordering takeout again a couple weeks ago 
and I got real, got too far into it. So my new technique now is to like buy things I wouldn't normally buy at the grocery store and kind of make it myself. Uh, so I made like calamari, I was making um, nachos, not that I wouldn't normally make it, but like nachos, wings, like all the kinds of stuff that I might like order at a restaurant, eating steak, like I never make steak at home, but I like steak at a restaurant. I made like cornbread muffins, just kind of like experimenting at home. So it's like even though it's not like ideal food, like I've definitely, I think I've put on about 10 pounds in the past few months, which is like, you know, it is what it is. Um, I have not tried even for a second to maintain my weight, so it's not shocking <laughs> that I've gained weight. Um, for my under eyes, I'm gonna use this Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder, but what was I saying? But yeah, at the very least, like it's still gonna be less, um, at least I know what I'm putting in the food, like I normally don't necessarily deep fry at home, so I've been kind of playing around with that. I'm not even deep frying, but like shallow frying. And I did a video recently actually on five dinner ideas. If you want, I've got like a really good salmon recipe, a really good meatball recipe, really good vegetarian one. I'll link that down below. I think some of the recipes in there are so good and I've got another one coming. I know like most people don't come to me for food videos, especially like, especially like that type of video. My what eat in a days to lose weight normally do pretty good. But whenever I do something like one of those like dinner ideas and stuff, they not bomb, but they definitely don't do very well. But I don't care because I love that style of video. I love to watch it and I love to make them. Um, I'm going to use the Wet n Wild, uh, no, the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. I don't know when the last time I used this was, and it's only because it's a loose powder. And this is a good shade for me too because like their Super Stay Pressed Powder, I kind of need to mix shades. I feel like, no, the Maybelline Fit Me Powder, that's a good shade for me, but this is a good one too in medium deep. And I would say it's not like incredibly matte, so I feel like a lot of people would enjoy it. Then for um, bronzer, I'm going to use the Butter Bronzer. I love this one from Physicians Formula. This one is in the shade Sculpting. They also have Deep. So like an improvement on their exist existing shade range, but honestly it was not hard to improve on their existing range. But I think if you're deeper than me, the Sculpting one would work. Um, if you're like more tan than me, if you have deeper skin, but you could also, if you're like my skin tone or maybe a little bit lighter, I would say the deep bronzer would be the best bet, but they're both good. I remember even saying like when this, when this launched, let me bring you in for eyes. I'm going to prime my eyes with the concealer. It's easy. It's effective. I've got two of these e.l.f. palettes here, so I'm going to start with this shade in summer. Um, but yeah, I remember going to the launch when those palettes or sorry, when those bronzers launched. And I know I was super pumped because I was like, finally, I have a shade for me and they were super pumped. Everybody was super pumped. But I still, you know, I still spoke to the PR person and swatched it on my hand and said like, while yes, this is darker, obviously, than your existing shades, you can see even on my skin tone, because especially when you swatch a bronzer on your hand, like it never looks as deep. Um, I said, like, you can see on my skin tone that there's not much room to move up from here, and I'm obviously not even very dark. Um, so it's like, these are the kinds of things I've been talking about and thinking about a lot lately. It's like, uh, it's really annoying to, like, constantly have to be not criticizing, but like having these conversations when I feel like other people don't need to, but a lot of black creators are left in a place, like I've talked about this before, where I'm like, I don't want to sound like I'm complaining all the time. Like, I don't want someone to click on my foundation reviews and think every time I watch her foundation reviews, she's complaining about not having a shade. And like, I'm sure almost nobody thinks that. I don't know. Maybe they do. I mean, everybody's got something to say. But, um, I don't want to sound like I'm complaining, but at the same time, like, it's firstly my job to review a foundation, and that is part of the review, is you should have a good amount of shades. It's not only just the formula, right? It's the shade range, it's the packaging, it's the price, it's the, you know, it could even be the marketing if they have got some, like, crazy commercial. Um, these are all things that are going to affect it, but it's just, like, it's just annoying <laughs> feeling like, you know. I have like an added and I don't I don't have a problem with it I'm happy to do it and I do it and I don't have to do it I don't have to advocate for more shade ranges and stuff no one is making me but it is something that's important to me but at the same time you just I don't know I like, don't want to seem like a Debbie Downer all the time <laughs> but it's like you're being the Debbie Downer by not including enough shades you're the catalyst here uh, I'm taking the shade called warm I'm gonna take spicy here I really like these elf 
eyeshadow palettes. Elf always had decent eyeshadows, but these ones are really good. The, and the shade ranges are kind of interesting within the palettes too. They're kind of different uh, collection of colors. And then those those other ones they came out with were amazing too. The four pan, four pan palettes. They were great. I've got a four palettes, four looks video on those if you would like. I've got a whole elf um, playlist, so I'll link that down below. I'm actually gonna do a little something to my brows, believe it or not. I let them get so bad. <laughs> like even in videos from far away, you could see like the sparse hairs, but I was like, I don't care. So then I finally gave them a big old tweeze the other day, like for the past year or so, like ever since I've been getting my brows threaded, I haven't been filling them in. But now I feel like they need just a little extra help. They don't have that nice definition. But salons opened up here in Toronto recently, but I'm still not going. <laughs> I just can't. I'm just like, I don't want to get some email that's like, oh, by the way. You know, and, and everybody has such different views on this kind of stuff. Um, but for me, I'm like, I'm just going to be extra precautious. Like, honestly, to me, this is one of the few brow gels that I like that's not the benefit one, <laughs> the NYX Bear With Me uh, brow setter. But I'm like, I don't, not that I don't care what the government says, but I'm like, but at the same time, I'm like, I don't care what the government says. Like, just because you said patios and salons are open doesn't mean I now need to rush into one of those establishments. And like, I feel for the business owners and stuff, but it seems like as soon as everything opened up, everybody rushed back in. So I, I hope they get that injection of cash and, and whatnot. But for me, I'm like, my safety and the safety of the people around me not that I'm surrounded by many people, but <laughs> you know, I still have to go grocery shopping and stuff, um, is paramount. So, cause I keep seeing people like saying like second wave is coming and I'm like second wave. I'm like, are we over the first wave? Like, I'm, I feel like we're still pretty in it here people, but maybe not. I don't know. Slow down in some places, but I use the L'Oreal, um, flash cat eye mascara. I feel like I'm getting a little bit stuffed up here. I think I've developed allergies since moving to Toronto. I've heard like people have bad allergies here. It was never something I had in Newfoundland. Cause I know too, like Rue and Emily, they both have some respiratory issues and they've both been kind of coughing more lately. Um, this is the, oh, that was the Essence Volume, Volume Booster Lash Primer, love it. If you're looking to up your lash game, highly recommend Maybelline Falsies Lash Lift. I mean, I've been using this so much since January. Officially my favorite Maybelline mascara, I think. I mean, there's, they're pretty much all great. I can't remember one that I hated. I go through phases and I'm like, Total Temptation is the best. Remember when the rocket came out, I was like, the rocket. I used to love the falsies, like the old falsies in the purple tube with like the little bit of lace on it. And then because I'm excessive, I'm gonna follow it up with Wonderlux Volume from Rimmel. This is how I get like an ideal lash look. It's a lash primer, then it's a really volumizing but still lengthening like mascara with a bristle brush, like a kind of a traditional bristle brush, I guess we would call it, like the Falsies Lash Lift, and then follow up with like a thin plastic bristle brush for even more length and definition and then that is the one I use on the lower lashes and it's like potentially excessive depending on how much makeup you wear but it is what it is right <laughs> that's how I do it because I think sometimes let me move you out I think I mentioned this in like my how to get better looking makeup video I think sometimes like we buy one lipstick or one mascara or one particular product and expect it to just on its own be amazing and like it absolutely can be but sometimes to take your makeup to the next level or get a particular look based on you know your skin type your lashes whatever it may be sometimes you got to do a little bit more right because you see like I know I've watched youtubers before and I'm like holy crap you are doing so much to your face but then they come out and you're like okay well yeah like you look super flawless or you look like you know you don't have a pore or whatever I mean sometimes it's just plastic surgery or fillers but you know <laughs> uh this is the NYX Sweet Cheeks blush in Daydream I still have to replace the one that I broke the summer day one or whatever it was called. no this is summer day is it no this is Daydream 
these are amazing blushes. I love this foundation. It's really good. If you've seen it out and you're like, you know, you never heard anybody talk about it. Like I said, I will link my review down below, but like, I love the way my skin looks right now. Um, I think that powder looks really soft too. Uh, Catrice also sent me this new highlight palette. It's quite cute. This is called Feel Gold and it's the Luminice highlight and bronze glow palette. It's quite nice. I'm normally not a huge like highlighter palette gal, but this is quite small, quite slim, so it's fine. So there's a soft highlighter, a highlighter, and a bronzing highlighter. So let me try the soft highlighter, but it kind of reminds me in color and in tone and like highlightiness of the Mean Money Hustla Baby combo from Fenty that I love oh so much. I really, really like, think it's phenomenal to have a softer highlighter and a more booming highlighter together. Like I'm here for that. Okay, so this has like on my face a little bit less warmth, I think, than I was hoping for, but it is pretty. I'm gonna put it in my inner corner too, because those e.l.f. palettes didn't really have an inner corner highlight that I was super pumped on. To kind of set my face slash just melt everything together, mm, I love this. I love the look it gives. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Rose 3-in-1 Primer Water. They've got a coconut and a... What's the other one? Coconut and a something. But I really love this. I feel like it really just like melts everything together. It does give like a little bit of shine on the skin, but I feel like it just looks so pretty. But if you do have an oilier skin type, you can always spray your face with that and then go back in with a little bit of powder just through the center of your face after it's all kind of set and dried. Um, then for my lip... I'm gonna use a combo of lipsticks. I really love these Pixie, Pixie by Petra um, liquid lips. So I'm gonna take the shade Evening Rose and put it all over. Again, another case of like things like adding a lip liner and mixing lipstick colors can really um, just create that perfect shade for you or that ombre that makes your lips look bigger or more defined. You know, these are all things I probably would have thought were excessive a little while back. And then you start doing it and it becomes the norm, you know, to wear three or four lip products at a time. I don't know if that's good or bad. Um, that was the shade Evening Rose and then I love the shade in Au Naturel. And I'm not going to put it all over my lips, but like quite a bit towards the center. Wow, I was just like looking up close at this base and it looks so good together. I forgot how much I love that foundation. I've obviously been wearing, not maybe not obviously, but wearing a lot less foundation lately. So I haven't been playing around with like older things because I've been kind of testing newer things for foundation reviews, but love how everything looks together. I mean, it's no surprise. I'm a huge fan of drugstore makeup. I love drugstore. I love from the dollar store to the ha 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 and counters. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, I freaking love a good old full face at drugstore because I don't know, it doesn't get appreciated enough. I think it's so almost like drugstore is a novelty. Like people will do a full face of drugstore and be surprised at the end of it or do it. Like I would never wear a full face of drugstore. So like, here's my video on it. But I mean, I normally wear a mix just because that's, you know, how I how I like to do my makeup, but I absolutely would have no problem getting rid of every single piece of my high-end makeup and be able to have a great look. I don't think there's anything, maybe, maybe, maybe brow gel. I still feel like I could use a little bit of help, but otherwise, uh, yeah, I don't know. I really like this look. So thank you so much for watching. Let me know down below what your favorite drugstore product is at the moment. And if you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Samantha Jane YT, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.